standing against queer discrimination was something that sort of um, evolved over time into what it is now. When I heard about the MSM policy, I, I ha you know, I hesitated a bit because I was doing a full course load at Western, you know, an upper year university course load. Um, and I thought to myself, if, is this really a battle that I want to take on? And I realized that, you know, if I don't take it on, who's going to take it on? The new regulation that came out in December on organs really illustrated and affirmed that um, the sort of new dynamic happening in Canada as far as people speaking out against um, forms of institutionalized discrimination because as soon as the public became aware of um, the new regulation they acted we actually um, planned the national day of action two weeks in advance so um, <laughs> that entire demonstration was planned in such a short period of time and it was so successful because you know for the simple reason that we were able to gather so many incredible people, passionate people, people that want to make a change in this country in such a short period of time. Change. And I think that change is absolutely fundamental to um, the human experience um, and to the community, to the, to the broader queer community. Um, I definitely do believe that um, the Canadian Blood Services MSM policy will change.